Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to add a hat to a person if you have two separate images. So you might have uh, an image of this woman before and then an image of a guy with a hard hat and you'll add the hard hat to the first image to get this uh, to get this third image. It could be any hat, I'm just using a hard hat in this example. Um, so let's take a quick look at what I'm going to do here. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the source files uh, which will have the PowerPoint as well as the uh, the image is in here so that you can try to follow along with the lesson yourself. Um, you can see these two images here. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, if this is a lesson that you'd find useful, if you could take two seconds and just like this video, that helps me understand um, to create more videos like this. Um, this is actually a lesson that I had one of my designers do in, uh, in Photoshop, and now I'm trying to recreate the same effect in PowerPoint. Um, and uh, it actually works pretty well. So let me zoom in on on this. Um, essentially what I have here, let me open the selection and visibility pane for you. Yeah, so I have this, this hard hat with a little drop shadow in there. I've rotated it, it's from this image, and then I put it on top of her, and that's the effect we're going to deal with. So let's go ahead and get to this uh, to this version here where uh, we don't have the hard hat on her. And let me show you how I would approach this. So I would take this original image and I would duplicate it. Let's duplicate it. Control D to duplicate. And now I'm in PowerPoint 2013. So I'm gonna to go to Format, Remove Background. And I'm going to move this kind of, this area that'll do the background removal, it does its best guess. Let's get it to just cover the hard hat and see how that does. And I have lessons, I'll put together a lesson on uh, more advanced back and removal um, because this actually worked really well. You can go in there and mark areas to remove and mark areas to keep, but I actually think this works pretty darn well. That looks good to me. Um, so there we go. It's just as easy as that. Now I'd probably crop this. So let's go to format, crop, and uh, let me zoom out. Let's zoom back in. That looks good. Okay, so now I have something that's a little bit easier to work with. Um, okay, so now I need to just make sure that I'm getting a kind of the right scale here. Um, and I have the characters about the same size, so that's going to work okay. So to scale up or down, I could just you know drag the arrow. Um, but let's get that to roughly that size. And we can always mess with it later. Um, and then we do like a rotation because our head is rotated slightly. Now it looks a little too small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, and now I'm going to use the control and arrow keys to kind of position it. It actually looks okay, but there's something that's missing. If you look at these two images, let's get them a little closer together. You'll notice that it's not very realistic because there's no shadow underneath it. That's really what's what's making this look fake. So uh, PowerPoint does have some built-in shadow features, but it doesn't work really well for a drop shadow on a person because it's going to do a shadow of the whole image, and what we really want is just a shadow um, that's going to be under part of it, under the, the brim of the hat. So what I'd suggest is that you draw an oval and you create your own shadow. So let's go format the shape, right-click, format shape, and I'm going to create a gradient. And, um, and if there's more stops, you can delete those stops. But let's go pick a color here where we say, yes, it's going to be dark. And then the slider, we'll do a slightly lighter version. Let me, uh, let me scroll down so you can see this. We'll pick a, maybe a lighter version of the shadow because it's going to lighten up as it as it goes across her forehead. That looks a little too light to me. So let's maybe do that. Um, okay, and let's make sure we have the, we have linear and the right direction. We want dark at top. Yeah, linear down, that's gonna be right. It looks like it still has a line attached to it. So let's go ahead and get rid of the line and we want to bring the hard hat on top of that. So let's go bring to front. And so now, if we were just looking at this, it doesn't look quite right. 
right? That's too hard. So what we need to do now is uh, add some transparency to the color. So let's just crank this up a notch so we can kind of see through a little bit. That's starting to look a little bit better, but still it's the hard edges are, are causing some problems. So I would actually go back and add a soft edge effect. So let's go format shape, effects, soft edges, and let's just try the default and crank it up. And now we can mess with the size a little bit. So maybe we want a little taller. That's starting to look a little bit better. Yeah, that's, that's starting to look a lot more realistic. And we'll want to get these rotations we can play with them a little bit. That actually looks okay. So I might, once I have them kind of lined up, I might group them. Let's control G. Let them whoops. Let's get them both selected. And then control G. And now I can move and rotate them together. Um, and if I wanted to click in there, I can move this down slightly. Great. And let's try cranking that around. Okay, so you can then play with the transparency and the size and the and the rotation of it, but actually it doesn't it doesn't look bad. And that's it looks a little too harsh to me still. So let's go back to the oval and let's get to the fill. Go down to the transparency and let's try making that a little bit more transparent. Fill. Oh, it's doing my stops as the transparency. Ha ha. That's why things don't look quite right. I wanted it to do the whole the whole thing. So okay, that's making more sense to me. So if I went to this one and I cranked up the transparency on this. Aha. That's starting to look right. So let's just put them both at like a 40% transparency. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Okay, so as you see uh, now, uh, it's really just three steps. You're removing the background, uh, you're scaling and rotating the hard hat, and then you're adding the drop shadow underneath it. And, you know, you can do this in any tool, but I prefer to use PowerPoint. And uh, since you stuck around this long, I will offer you a special bonus. So you can go ahead and click on that or look in the show notes and you'll get a special PowerPoint bonus that'll help you help you out. Um, I've also included a few other videos that I think you'd find useful. And uh, you can watch those by clicking on the links or looking in the show notes. And, of course, if you want to see more lessons on PowerPoint, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I put out lots of different design tips and tricks as well as PowerPoint hacks uh, to, how to how to do different designs. Anyways, I really appreciate you taking the time uh, with me here today and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.